close, but it goes to Noah Harmon. And she's out here. The Outstanding American History Award goes to Joda Freese. Just stop bouncing your legs. First thing I'm going to do today, I want to recognize our science fair participants that um, advanced. So, if you were, if you participated in regionals or district competition down here, so you can be recognized quickly, please. That would be uh, Kyler Baird, Cindy Bland, Taylor Early, Joda Fries, Grace Garza, Julia Garza, Emily Harmon, Taylor Metz, Abby Miller, Madison Skerhan, Elena Stuckey, and Emily Taylor, and Grace. Uh, yeah. Um, at regionals, science fair is a little different this year. It was virtual, but at regionals, uh, Kyler, Kyler Barry, Taylor Early, Joda Freeze, Julia Garza, Emily Harmon, Abby Miller, and Emily Taylor all scored superiors at regionals. Uh, Emily Taylor, Abby Miller, and Emily Harmon uh, qualified for super judging. That's the top projects that get judged to go international, and Taylor Early was um, the alternate for that. Um, I'm just going to read the regional awards quickly. Uh, Maddie Skerheim, second place in animal science. Elena Stuckey, second place in chemistry. Taylor Early, first place in engineering. Emily Taylor, first place in medicine and health. Abby Miller, first place in microbiology. Emily Harmon, first in physics and anatomy. Julia Garza, second in physics and, and astronomy. Um, Last one here. Julie, uh, Grace Garza and Taylor Metz both third place physics and astronomy. Kyler Britt Baird and Joda Fries both third place in plant science. Also, a bunch of them scored special awards. Emily Taylor, the Apothecary Medicine Award, Vern Kiefer Organization and Presentation Award, and an Alpha Theta Award, which came with 100 bucks, I think. What's that? Okay. One of them did in cash. Uh, Kyler Baird, uh, Favorito Environmental Science Award, second place. Emily Harmon, uh, the Short Science Engineering Award and Governor's Award for Advanced and Alter Al Alternate Alternative Energy and the Oberhaus Award. Joda Fries won the Kiefer Family Creativity Award in the Association of Women Geoscientists. Abby Miller won the James R. Kiefer Retired Teacher Award and the Navy Award. Madison Sterheim, American Meteorological Society Award, Julia Garza, NASA Earth Science System, NASA Earth System Science Award, and Taylor Early, the Yale Science and Engineering Association Award. That's a lot of awards, and they did a great job at regionals. Give them a hand, and then we'll talk about this. Just real quick. <laughs> at districts, Taylor Early, Joda Fries, Julia Garza, Taylor Metz, Madison Sterheim, Melina Spicky, and Emily Taylor. All, all sports superiors at the district science fair. Uh, Joda Freeze uh, got the Ohio Biosance Soybean Award. There's not nearly as many awards in districts, but she did get an award there. And uh, Taylor Early, Joda Freeze, Julia Garza, Taylor Metz, Madison Steerheim, Elena Stuckey, Emily Taylor all participated in the state science fair, which we have not got results from yet. Now, uh, we have two special awards that we get out here in Hicksville. Um, one, in both of them, if you pay attention to the awards cabinet there in the, in the main hallway, there's two plaques with a bunch of names on them. 
and these two will both get their names on those plaques. The first one is in memory of Dr. Dr. James Hilbert. Um, that would be um, Mrs. Turnbull's father, who was very involved here for a long time judging science fair. And um, so we put it, had awarded his honor for health sciences, and that goes to Emily Taylor. And the other award is in, in honor of Larry Zedike, who taught here for many years um, in, in, in the sciences, and he passed away a while back, and we have an award in his memory, a physical science award, goes to Taylor Early. Next is Freeze. Good morning. A uh, few awards for general business and video productions. Uh, first, general business outstanding student, Brian Bassett. Only. This is the 
outstanding financial management students. There's two of them, Tatum Sheets from first semester and Morgan Fogel from second semester. <laughs> outstanding textiles and interior design student by far, Emily Taylor.
Outstanding Honors Biology student, Joda Fries. And Outstanding Biology student, Lene Poling. take the time to do their best work instead of just doing good enough and getting it done. Their hard work and determination will pay off, so they are receiving a payday award. And if you're allergic to nuts, let me know and I'll give you something else. But it's Abraham Garcia and Joe Grease. <laughs> I have one for each 
last period. For third period, it's Noah Harmon. Madison Stareheim and Julia Garza. This year, this student um, stood out to me especially. She would always come and ask for help uh, when she needed it and was never afraid to ask questions. Um, so the English and Literature 10 Hard Work Award goes to Haley Bird. She did gobs and gobs of great learning, and that goes to Martina Vespa. Um, this next student, I would say, is a superstar. Um, I don't think that he knows it. He's very um, not talkative, but definitely has the grade to prove it, and that is Abraham Garcia. Student giving 
extra in everything that they do, and this is for Miss Audrey Beard. My next one is um, for Delaney Bagley. She's always willing to go above and beyond in helping other students um, in the class. That joke didn't land.
I also had four art classes this year, and actually three of those were art one, and then one of them was an art two class. Um, I have even more students than that to recognize. Uh, we just had a lot of amazing students this year. So come on down when you hear your name. We've got Jay Aitney, Cadence Barnes, Alyssa Castilla, Abby Miller, Madison Moore, Hayden Neidhart, Allie Nelson, Alyssa Seitz, Noah Schaefer, Tatum Sheets, Devin Smith, Kylie Smith, and Kelton Stone. We're not done yet, folks, but we're close. Uh, I also teach digital photography and design. I have two students I'd like to recognize. Um, those two students are Macy Eicher and Elena Stuckey. Say this, but I'm, I'm already excited for next year. Uh, definitely looking forward to a break, as I'm sure you are as well, but looking forward to next year as well. Um, with that said, who's coming up next? Is it Mr. D, Mr. Hot? Nice. <laughs> this year. The first award, the Slope Award, goes to this person who rises to challenges the orc running for help. Alexis Amateur. The next, the Pythagoras Award, goes to this a uh, student who goes the distance to achieve success, and that is Madison Sterheim. Uh, the next, the Perpendicular Award. This one goes for, a hard, for working hard to get things right. Uh, Brock Wilson. <laughs> the first quadrant award for the person who has the um, most positive attitude, Eric or Ella Clark. The 90 Degree Award. Uh, again, another person who always does things right. Edo. Oh. And the Parabola Award. Uh, for her enthusiasm in class. Alyssa Ayers.
Right now, I want to bestow upon all of you the coolest students in the world award, so give your all-self a big old hand. All right, because you're pretty cool. Uh, government's third period award of excellence, Taylor Irwin. Eighth period government excellent award, Zach Slack Thatcher. Thatcher. And I got two current events award of excellence. Joe DeFries and Ethan Potter. Mr. Slacker. You know, I'm just thrilled that um, I scheduled this the last two hours, so I have an hour and 90 minutes to talk, so I'm pretty excited about that. So, I have a lot of awards to hang out. I'm going to hand out all of the um, honor roll awards for the year, and this is going to go by grade level, all right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call down all the freshmen first that received honor roll all four quarters, and then I'm going to call down, you'll sit down, and then I'll call down all the freshmen that had all A's for four quarters. Now, I will say this, grades are not finalized, so I have the first three quarters finalized. Fourth quarter, I went by what was in power school as of yesterday. So keep that in mind, because I know there's a few people in here that have B's that are probably hoping to have an A at the end of the year. If you get that up to all A's and you contact me, I'll make you a new certificate, I promise. Okay? So, freshman, I don't know, all year, Delana Begley. Chris Bond. Olivia Begley, or excuse me, Olivia Clark. Cameron Dury. Nadia Iden. Abraham Garcia. George Green.
Okay, on to all A's freshmen, and when you come down here before our flaws, let's let them all come down here first, and we'll fall at the end again. On to all A's, remain down here. Freshmen, all prepared. Rylan Rylan Bassett. Noah Harmon. Peyton Neidhart. Allie Nelson. Bailey Shear. Spencer. Congratulations to all of you. Nice job. All right, the next group, this is all A's from the sophomore class for all four quarters this year. Again, I'll call all these names down. Please remain standing and then we'll applaud. Katie Chapman. 
Morgan Fogel. Joe DeFries. Victoria Berna. Lede Poling. Kenzie Schrader. Emma Schumann, Emily Taylor, <laughs> Zach Thatcher, and Abby Welly. Thank you. 
Congratulations, I'll see you job this year. We have a few more things to hand out here. Um, the Defiance County Sheriff's Office each year, they want to recognize anyone who has perfect attendance. <laughs> Hold on a second. Hold on a second. So, um, of course, I spoke to Mrs. Bell, and uh, immediately she said, well, no one had perfect attendance this year, Mr. Slattery. And I said I wasn't surprised by that because of COVID and the requirements for people to be quarantined and things like that. So I will say that I pulled up the attendance records and I decided that um, based on what they provide me is I have five envelopes here per grade level. So the top five attendants for freshmen, sophomores, and juniors, there's a letter in here from the Finance County uh, Sheriff's Department, and I believe there's a $10 gift certificate to McDonald's in here also. So no better way to reward someone than McDonald's. When I call your names, uh, please remain down here. Get your envelope and slide on down by Mr. Dave Blue. Freshman, Michael Crawford. Tanner White. Tanner White. Dakota West. Abraham Garcia. And Anthony Allen. <laughs> Top five attendees for sophomores. Lene Poling. <laughs> Alyssa Seitz. Ashton Streeter. Mackenzie Shaw. And not to be outdone by her sister, Leah Seitz. Paige and Leah Seitz to the podium. If you don't want this, I'll take it. I'm a hungry guy. Top five attendants for juniors, Taylor Metz, Zach Thatcher, Taylor Early, Emily Harmon, and Jackson Bergman. Perspective up here towards every student out here. This is probably the most respectful award to have because it shows your commitment to being here every day, and that matters. And this this also rolls over to you know the jobs you have outside your school hours, the extracurricular events you have, and of course you get into adult life. So congratulations and thank you. pertains to um, the Harold C. Shaw Memorial Outstanding School Award for the Ohio Academy of Science. 
And this is all the students that we talked about earlier that um, participate in science fair and move on to the different levels and go down to the state level. This goes beyond what happens in this gym or in the conference in the computer room when you present or in the science class when you present. This goes to every single level and they recognize new advances. They recognize the type of commitment that these students have, not only in their project, but their ability to prepare for their presentation skills. So, um, Mr. Payne and Mrs. Bosselman, uh, anyone the science, else in the science department up here, would you like to come up and take this award, please? And of course, Mrs. Lane, who's not here today, this also goes to her. So thank you for your uh, You guys have to be good role models. You have to lead by example. 
You know, think about it. I, and I had this every single year. Every year, freshmen come in and say that the seniors, junior girls are mean to them. Okay, they don't let them stand in the front row. They, you know, at, at practice. And I always say this every year to the freshmen. Okay, when you're a junior or senior, you need to be better than. Someone has to make that change. Someone has to do that. And I feel like the last couple of years, um, you know, we've had some smaller groups of seniors coming through, and they've done a nice job of being great role models. I think our seniors have done a good job of being team players. Okay. Well, now it's your turn. Keep that going. You know, treat everybody with respect because that it becomes contagious. And remember, you know, whether it's, it's academically, okay, whether, you know, um, you know, like in the, in the band when you have three or four saxophone players and you're competing for first chair or, you know, academically or athletically, you know, you're competing amongst each other, but you're also supposed to be supporting each other. People who want to beat are from other schools. You know, don't focus on being the person that's on your team or being the person next to you. Focus on what you're doing to improve to compete with those other people that are outside. outside. Be supportive of one another. And that's something I want to focus on next year. I know that um, seniors, you know, the senior banners are going to be up here again. You know, that's an achievement that we're looking for every year. I want to fill that wall. I want that whole wall to be covered in anyone that's involved. You know, I'm, I spoke to Mr. Hall in the uh, athletic department and our athletic boosters and I'm going to talk to the music producers and stuff. That wall right there, that blank wall on this uh, east end, you know, I, what I'd like to do is, is every senior that's involved in the marching band, that's involved in, in pet band, archery, you know, the clubs, and then the sports. I want every senior to come and take one giant picture, and we're going to get a, a big blown up picture and hang on the wall there because we want to represent people, okay? We really, really do. All right, and if, and if somebody wants to ask you about marching band and senior banners, they'll have to ask, I've, I've given that one a few times now. Okay? You know, we, we hold all of our extracurriculars, the sport, sporting department, you know, the athletic department, to get a senior banner up there. They're held to an academic achievement. They're held to, uh, you know, a, a code of conduct. They're, they're held to the, the drug testing policy, things like that. I told the March band, if you guys want to be held to that same standard, we'll put a banner up there. That's the only thing separating that. All right? Because I, I get asked that question every single year. Yes, sir. Does these boards have Challenge us, and we just love it. it makes us the best person we're going to be. All right, 
But there's one thing about Mrs. Leon I, I, I can't get out of my head, and that's she has the it factor, I said. She has it. She, she is here for the kids. She wants what's best for you. She wants you to enjoy your education. She wants you to learn life skills. And um, I'm excited about Mrs. Van Horn coming to teach next year. But at the same time, I'm, I'm just as sad because you know I had Mrs. Leon as, as a teacher when I was in school here. And Hicksville High School didn't miss her. So everyone in here needs to give her a round of applause and tell her thank you.